Welcome to Sailor Samara's Mooney Merchandise, Collections, Cosplay, and a whole lot more. Hi everybody! Happy Halloween! And welcome to my newest review for the Right Stuff Blu-ray Limited Edition set for Sailor Moon R Part 2. I just got mine in the mail today. There it is. I did open it, but I haven't opened it all the way yet. So I can open it up on camera. I have my Sailor Moon costume on today because it's Halloween. But I thought it would be cool and fun to do. And I hope you guys like it and I hope I look okay. <laughs> but we're gonna unbox the Right Stuff Blu-ray limited edition set for Sailor Moon R part two. And this is how it's shipped just like this. Um, the part ones that come in the, the box set are shipped in a much bigger box than this, but this is the way the part twos come. And we got packaging. Uh, this is the order form. And then we have these cards. And these are the Right Stuff exclusive cards you can only get with pre-ordering with Right Stuff. Every time that they have one, uh, Viz has special stuff. For right stuff to give away to a certain number of fans who have orders first pretty much um, gets these and these are really cool so I'll get these open but let's take a look at uh, the blu-ray set first and this is the way it looks um, this is of course the limited edition blu-ray and DVD combo pack which um, comes in a different style box I don't think that the DVDs come in a shiny box like this the art is obviously the same but I think this is a uh, exclusive shiny box for the blu-ray release and then on the back it has Chibiusa there and she's looking cute um, some of the bonuses they have on this is the Sailor Moon anniversary welcome Chibiusa dub recording behind the scenes Sailor Moon at Otakon which I was at Otakon this year um, and more so there's quite a lot to offer in the getting the Blu-ray set versus the DVD. So we'll open both these up and then we can take a closer look. First, I guess we'll do the cards. Okay, I finally got them all. The lovely plastic. Okay, so this is the cards that you get. These, of course, have all the inners on them. Sailor Moon on that one, and Prince Demande, I think that's how you pronounce it, on the other side. I'm I'm so used to the first English dub that I'm not, like, I don't have the Japanese names for these characters embedded into my brain, so if I pronounce them wrong, I am sorry. <laughs> Neo Queen Serenity on this card. One of my faves, and Sapphire on the other. Um, we got Chibiusa, Chibiusa, and Black Lady. I love Black Lady. She is awesome. There's King Endymion. Esmeralda. Uh, Sailor Mars. These are all really cool images by Marco. Cohn on the other side. Uh, Sailor Mercury. It's so much easier to remember their names than when they're written on the card. It's like a cheat sheet. Sailor Mercury. <laughs> of course, I'll always remember the sailors, but um, I'm still not quite sure. Birth, 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 yeah, I think. I don't know. Like I said, I don't have the Japanese names for some of the villains embedded into my brain. Uh, okay, this one's Sailor Jupiter. And Pez, I think. Pez. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so bad. Okay, Sailor Venus. And Calaveras. And Sailor Pluto. And Rubius. So these are really, really cool promotional cards that they give you for this release. And that's one thing. I've never ordered from Right Stuff before until Sailor Moon started coming out. So 
Um, it's the main reason why I do versus buying it on like Amazon or something because I get free shipping with Amazon because I have Prime. But these promotional items, I, I really like them, so kind of a sucker for that kind of thing. So we'll take a look at the Blu-ray set, and this is what it looks like out of its paper, and this is what will fit inside of your box, which I'll show. But uh, open this bad boy up, and uh, yeah, these are the discs, and I hope you can see them this time, because they're hard to show. Okay, you can see them a little better now, but here's uh, Chibiusa there, and it's upside down. And it's Pluto, and she has some pretty cool designs around. She got her um, planetary symbol around her. Okay, <laughs> here is Neo Queen Serenity there. She's got little moons around her as well. And then Chibiusa again. And of course, these are the these are the Blu-rays, and then the next three are the same. Um, they're the DVDs. But the, as you can tell just by kind of flipping through them. The colors are slightly lighter on the DVDs, so you can kind of tell them apart, I guess, by just looking at them, but I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's more of a lavender on Neo Queen Serenity's disc, and then kind of like almost white, if not white, yeah. The colors are reversed on that one. So it's kind of an odd thing. And then, of course, here on the inside, if I could grab it with these gloves on, is this pretty art piece on the other side of the cover art. So that's really nice. Oh, nice image there. Sparkly. So now we'll take a look at the original <laughs> the original box set and this is the first limited edition one that came out for part one and it came with a book and all that fancy stuff and then we got this cardboard in inlet yeah whatever it is and uh put that in there and technically they want you to take this and put it in here like this but then you're left with this piece here and this is a really pretty cover so shiny. It's got featuring all new extra sticker on it. You don't want to throw that away. What I did with mine is I just kind of put the sleeve back on it. And then you can try to get that in there with the sleeve on, which it goes right in. So you can do that. I know it doesn't look awesome, but Technically, you're supposed to use this side to display outward of your um, DVD case or what have you. So then you'll just be seeing this and not really this. Even though I know some people probably have theirs displayed like this, but I display mine like this because it's got Season 2, Sailor Moon R, all that written right here on the side. So that's all you really need, technically. But that is the set. And like always, I'm going to show you the the awesome menus that's the most exciting part of this at least for me I like the interactive menus and I like the bonus features which I won't show those but I'll show the menus so you can see them and get the full review so let's go check it out Disc one of part two. Um, this one is Chibiusa themed, as you can tell. It has a nice cheery song to it. And the little cursor is her um, time key. And you can see, of course, the um, crystal star locket down at the bottom. So you can tell which season this is from. It's got it all over it. So we'll go to episodes. And of course the episodes pop up just like all the other ones. And then setup is the same way. You get uh, English, English with subtitles, English with songs and signs, and same thing with Japanese and all those. Then we have the 
the gallery. And the gallery looks like it's going to be all about Chibiusa. And then of course Sailor Moon. And I won't show you all these obviously, but it gives you a little bit of an idea. And the music does change as you can tell. It was one song when I first started playing it and now we're into another song. And this is all background music from the episodes. So let's check out disc number two. Alright, so this one of course is Sailor Pluto. And it's pretty cool. I like the color of it and such. And I like the intro. And of course the cursor is her time key. Garnet orb. Um and the episodes of course same way. Set up the same way and then of course gallery. And of course it's Sailor Pluto. That's a really cool one. Sailor Pluto. See if the music changes. Yep, it has a different song now. I like that song. Yeah, that's one of my favorites from the series. But all right, so that is disc number two, so we'll pop in Blu-ray disc number three. And this one is, of course, Neo Queen Serenity. And we have the inside of the Crystal Star Compact as the little cursor. Same. We got the, the episodes featuring Black Lady on this one. All the way to the end of R, of course. And the extra should be different on this one. Um, we have Sailor Moon at Otakon, dub recording behind the scenes, Welcome to the Yusa, Sailor Moon Anniversary, Gallery, Clean Opening, Clean Ending, and Trailers. So that is pretty much the Blu-ray discs. Now, I will show you the DVDs because I sometimes get people asking me what the DVDs look like too, so I don't mind showing them as well so you can kind of get an idea of what they look like. But uh, let's check out this one of the first three DVDs. Alright, so here is disc one of the DVDs, and it's a really pretty image of Chibi Yusa on here. These are more simple than the Blu-rays, of course. The um, interactive menus aren't so, you know, big and elaborate, and there's no music or anything, so. But you do have two options. You have play episodes and setup. Let's go to episodes. And this is how the episodes pop up. Just like this, and it's got her little time key there. Go to setup, and there's a big, big image of the Crystal Star Compact, and you can change the English, Japanese, and all the subtitles and such there. So, pretty simple. So, let's check out this number two of the DVDs. So, of course, this one is Sailor Pluto, and it's a really awesome picture of Sailor Pluto as well. Really pretty and colorful. And here are the episodes, and it's got her little time staff there. And the setup should be exactly the same as the first one, yeah. But yeah, so that's what the menu looks like on this one. So I'll show you the very last one, and that should conclude the discs. So here is the last one of the DVDs, and this one has Neo Queen Serenity on, of course. 
and you can just tell by Marco's art that he was trying to go totally different with the way Neo Queen Serenity is from Sailor Moon. Her eyes are very solemn and mature as uh, Neo Queen Serenity versus her Sailor Moon, at least by this piece of art. I love Neo Queen Serenity. She is like one of my favorite forms of Sailor Moon. Um, she's really, really pretty and it's a really awesome image of her there. But I had to get that out of the way. Now, <laughs> here is the, um, of course you have the episodes and set up just like all the others. Okay, it's the crystal star. And I could have got a little bit more creative with that one, I think. Because the setup's going to have that too. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I think that should have been like a crystal or something. Personally. Um, but then, of course, this one has the extras menu, which is a little different. And there's the um, cutie moon rod there and the inside of the crystal star compact. And this one, as you can see on the DVDs, you don't get all the special features. You don't get any of the special features, really. You get, like, trailers for other things Viz Media has. This is not even the... I, I'm pretty sure it is not even the trailers for Sailor Moon or any of the Sailor Moon releases. It's just random trailers from different animes that they are selling. So... As you can see, just like I've said previous before, um, the Blu-rays just have so much more to offer. I know that you cannot um, play Blu-rays if you don't have a Blu-ray player, which is understandable. Uh, I know a lot of people do not have one, but if, uh, if you can get one and you have a Blu-ray player or you're deciding which one to get, I definitely recommend getting the Blu-rays versus the DVDs. But uh, that's me personally. I do like all those little extras that they throw in um, as bonus features. And of course the box and all that extra is awesome as well. And the little booklet and everything. But uh, that's pretty much it. Alright guys, so that is my video review of the uh, Sailor Moon R Part 2, which is this one right here. Definitely let me know what you think if you got this. Um, what your thoughts are on it. I definitely think it's a pretty release and I think they're doing a really good job with it. But yeah, let me know. Definitely like, comment, subscribe, and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Alright, bye!